is a creature alive today that lives to kill. A mindless eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. taken by Jaws. Do you like fish? Well, he likes you too. None of man's fantasies of evil can compare with the reality of Jaws. See it before you go swimming. Spielberg directed Jaws in 1975, it was the movie that made him an international superstar among directors. But his interest in movies began at a young age. Born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1946, Steven Spielberg created Escape to Nowhere, a short film about World War II at the age of 15. Other short films he created include The Last Gun, a Western short film he made at the age of 13, and Battle Squad, a World War II short film he made at the age of 15. In 1968, 22-year-old Steven Spielberg directed the movie Amber. Amber later became the name of Steven Spielberg's production company. In 1978, Spielberg produced his first movie, the forgettable I Want to Hold Your Hand. Then came his next big hit. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. In 1982, Spielberg produced and directed two films. The first was Poltergeist. The second was the highest grossing movie of all time up to that point. The connection has been made. Universal Pictures presents Steven Spielberg's E.T. The Extraterrestrial. E.T. In 1985, he produced Back to the Future, the movie that made Michael Fox an instant superstar. In 1985, Steven Spielberg directed another great success. An American story for the whole world. It's about life. It's about love. It's about us. You will never forget the color purple. In 1988, he produced the landmark animation slash live action film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Steven Spielberg also created many cartoons, including Pinky and the Brain in 1995. Also in the 1990s, he produced the unusual comedy thriller, Arachnophobia. In 1993, Spielberg directed another movie which, for a short time, held the record as the highest grossing movie of all time. Jurassic Park. In 1993, Steven Spielberg produced and directed a movie that won him Best Director at the Oscars and Best Picture. the production company DreamWorks, which had created many box office successes. In 
He produced Men in Black in 1997 and The Mask of Zorro in 1998. In 1997, Steven Spielberg produced and directed another spectacular movie. In 2001, Spielberg produced another great movie. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Oh! Still for the rich and keep to the needy. Takes away percentage. But I'm not greedy. I risk your pretty damsels. Man, I'm good. Take <laughs> 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 <Break> it down. <laughs> Shrek. This is number four. This is over. I'm going to need a whole lot of serious therapy. Look at my eye twitching. In 2001, he produced a mini series about World War II that was a financial and critical success. to join the paratroopers. I wanted to fight with the best, sir. Spielberg also created the video game series Medal of Honor, set during World War II. It was in 1998, however, that Spielberg produced what many believe was one of the best films of his career. Film threat said, Neither wholly condemning war nor spouting patriotism, Spielberg shows us the price we pay. The Cincinnati Inquirer said, He does not filter out the horror of battle, and he doesn't wrap the combatants in nobility. Their heroism is the human kind, shadowed by fear and doubt and failure. The New York Times said, It is the ultimate devastating letter home. Dear Mr. Brian Boyd, No doubt by now you have received full information about the untimely death of your son. However, there are some personal details I believe that I very strongly in No words of mine can ever He was a fine soldier. And regarding the circumstances leading to his death, felt his loss tremendously. Robert's commanding of officer. His heroic service to his country. He was a great soldier. Dedicated friend. The grace of God and the aid of your Those son, of us I'm who alive. Please accept my most sincere condolences. He will in our memories. to you my deepest sympathy. Colonel, I've got something you should know about. Yes? These two men died in Normandy. This one in Omaha Beach. Sean Ryan. This one in Utah, Peter Ryan. This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Daniel Ryan. The three men are brothers, sir. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. That boy is alive. We're going to send somebody to find him. And we're going to get him out of there. Some private in the 101st lost three of his brothers, and he's got a ticket home. It's not going to be easy finding one particular soldier in the whole war. It's just a name. But if finding him so he can go home, if that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then that's my mission. Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this.